I've just been so lonely, 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 lonely I've been so damn lonely These niggas acting phony, 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 phony Acting so damn phony What's up guys? So I'm going to be teaching you how to make the transition seen in that preview there. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is place an adjustment layer and the shortcut for an adjustment layer is on the screen right now. And then you want to go to your effects and search optics and you're going to drag on optics compensation straight onto the adjustment layer. After you have the optics compensation on there, you're going to want to go about a second before the transition and keyframe the field of view by clicking that little timer. As you can see, when you drag the field of view, it stretches the screen. Um, you need to have the reverse lens distort checked. But yeah, now you're going to go to where the transition is and drag the field of view way up, maybe to around like 250, 225-ish. And then go about the same distance after the transition as you did before and just copy it at zero, the field of view at zero. So now you're going to want to click on the keyframe that's on the adjustment layer. And for the middle one, you want to go keyframe assistant, easy ease. And then after, you're going to do the easy in and then the one before, easy out. This creates curves that you can bend. You go to the graph editor here and you can bend these curves to make it gradually increase speed. And like it gradually stretches the screen faster. And we're going to want to drag these curves kind of like this. Just toy with it until you have it exactly how you want it. But as you can see, it speeds up faster towards that spike. It might have been a little bit too fast. Here, I'm just going to fix it real quick. But just drag them around until you have it exactly how you want it. And then trim the adjustment layer. And bang, there's the transition. So now if you highlight the optics compensation in the left there and go animation, save animation preset, you can save this transition. That way you'll be able to use this transition instantly. It'll already be keyframed and everything ready to go. So once you get it saved, make a new adjustment layer, and then you can go to your animation presets, user presets, and find it, drag it on. And the only thing you'll have to do is drag the keyframes to the spot where it's cut, to where you want the transition to be. It's been so long. Bang, beautiful. All right, we're going to hop right into another transition. Uh, this time we're going to use CC Light Burst. Intensity kind of just increases the brightness. Um, but yeah, so we want to go to the beginning of the transition and make a keyframe at zero for ray length and then go to the, trans to the place where it's being cut and put it to maybe around like... 100, you just want to toy with it until you have it exactly right. We're going to leave the intensity at 100 also. And then at the end of the transition, you put the ray length back to zero. And then you press U to open up the keyframes. And you do the same thing. You do the middle one, easy ease, the last one, easy in, and then the first one, easy out. And that brings up these curves again. You just have to go to the graph editor and then bend the curves. Beautiful. And then, yeah, you can save this uh, transition, and then we'll hop right into another one. This time, let's do Turbulent Displacement. Turbulent Displace. This one kind of warps the screen. You can do this with like any effect in the effects and presets. You just have to find what you want to be changing. Like in this one, we want the amount to change. And then you just create, at the beginning, you create it at zero. You make the amount zero. And then in the middle, you place it to what something you, something you think is a, a good amount. And then at the end, you put it back to zero. And then you just bend these curves. You do the easy ease, easy in, and easy out. And then you bend them. And yeah, you can do this with any effect in After Effects. It's super nice because you basically do the same thing for all of them and it looks clean. So yeah, there's another one you can save. 
Another thing you can do is combine them. Like, for example, if you do turbulent displacement like we just did, you could add, like, say, brightness. You know, you could add the brightness effect or, like, uh, you know, contrast, whatever. You can add color correction, color changes, hue and saturation, whatever you want onto this adjustment layer and create keyframes for that as well. So then you have the color changing and the turbulent displacement changing. But so here I'm just going to toy with a, an effect I've never actually used for a transition and just make one. You know, you just have to toy with the effects, mess around with something uh, until you find something that you think is interesting and then create keyframes at the beginning and end at zero. And then in the middle, you increase the bend. It's that easy. So that's me just toying with... Uh, <laughs> toying with the effect. I've never used this one before, but I think this will look pretty clean. So lonely, 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 lonely. I've been so damn lonely. Yeah, that looks nice. All right, so one last one we're going to do. Uh, we'll use radio blur. This is another effect I like a lot. Uh, it creates that like circle blur. And you can also change the type from spin to zoom and it looks really clean also it's kind of like kind of similar to the light burst effect but yeah so we're going to go to the beginning create a keyframe at zero and then in the middle create it around 10 and then bend the curves you guys have seen this before and you can do this with any effect and combine effects and it's pretty awesome and you can just save these effects and use them whenever you want and it'll be nice and easy and fast so if this was helpful, leave a like, share with a friend, subscribe. I'll have more tutorials coming. Thank you guys.